Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mindy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Today we are going to bake cookies. I haven't baked cookies in such a long time. I hope it turns out okay. We are going to be making apple oatmeal cinnamon cookies. I had everything I needed to make these cookies, so I thought we should give it a try. This is not my recipe. I found it online. I will link the recipe below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. And now we're gonna get started going over the ingredients and then we're gonna bake some cookies. We will be using one and a fourth cup of flour, one large egg, one and a fourth cup of oatmeal. Here I have two thirds cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half of a teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and two medium sized apples. And I almost forgot half a cup of room temperature butter. And now we're going to slice and dice our apples into small bite sized pieces. And now we're going to mix all of the dry ingredients together in a mixing bowl. And I will set this aside until we need it. Now I will take the two teaspoons of lemon juice and I will pour it over the apple slices and we will stir it together and set this aside until we need it. Now I am putting together the wet ingredients, which would be the butter, the vanilla and the one egg. And then I will use the hand mixer and we're going to stir this all together. And now I will take the dry ingredients and I will slowly add it to the butter mixture and use the mixer on it. And we will keep doing this until it is all stirred together. And now we're going to fold in the apples that have been soaking in the lemon juice. Okay guys, we are ready to scoop our cookie dough onto a baking sheet. I have lined it with parchment paper. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It calls for two tablespoons. Mine is a one tablespoon scoop, so I'm gonna do like heaping tablespoons. Okay, it says after you put them on here to press them down a little bit, so that's what I did. It don't, you don't flatten them, just press them down a little bit. Now I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and hopefully we will be back very soon with a taste test. The first batch is out of the oven. I've already got the second batch in. They smell really, really good. So I'm hoping that they will turn out really, really tasty. Okay guys, it's time for a taste test. They smell really good. You can smell the apples and the cinnamon kind of a soft cookie, very cake-like. You can see the inside. Guys, here's my two cents. Those are good. They're not great, but they're good. They're almost very breakfasty to me. Something about, maybe it's the apples and the oatmeal and the cinnamon. It reminds me of my apple cinnamon oatmeal that I eat almost every day. <laughs> we'll eat them. They're fine. They're good, but they're not great. What can I say beyond that? And now I am gonna get my mess cleaned up and then I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for supper tonight because it's like six o'clock and I haven't even thought about dinner time yet, which is fine because Chris doesn't get home until after 11, so I have plenty of time to do that. But usually by now I've started thinking about what am I gonna cook for supper? So I hope you guys all have a great evening and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, it's me Sadie. And I just have to say, those cookies smell so good, but my mama wouldn't let me eat the cookies. But I did get to eat the apple slices. I love apples. They're so yummy. I hope you guys will like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and leave us some comments because we love your comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!